Welcome. In this video, we will focus on Code Insight's ability to answer key stakeholder questions regarding your organization's use of open source software. If you have not watched the inventory overview video, we recommend checking it out as it introduces some of the topics revisited in this video. Revenera's Code Insight enables you to catalog your usage of open source and third party software, manage your intellectual property and security risks, and operationalize your organization's open source strategy. Over the past decade, Revenera has been tracking the average amount of open source encountered by our audit services team for our customers. As you can see in the chart, there have been two significant increases over the past few years. The first was between the years of 2014 and 2016, where over this two year period, the average bomb increased by 122%. This is mainly attributed to mass adoption of package management technologies, which automatically brings in dependencies as part of your build process. The second was in 2020, where the average bomb size grew by 200% over 2019. This latest jump is due to the increased popularity of programming technologies, including Python via PyPI, Ruby via RubyGems.org, and JavaScript via NPM. We are now seeing, on average, 2,000 open source bill of material items per analyzed code base, which is an increase of approximately 700% since 2014. At this volume, it is incredibly difficult to track open source usage across your organization without an SCA application. This is further supported by the fact that the average disclosure rate prior to an audit is only 4%. Given a renewed focus on corporate risk management, the list of stakeholders with a keen interest in the software bill of materials continues to grow. Depending on the level of maturity of an organization's compliance programs, there are multiple stakeholders who rely on a complete and accurate bill of materials to drive compliance efforts across different teams. Various stakeholders are all interested in managing legal, security, and reputation risk as part of properly leveraging open source in their applications. The IP team is ultimately responsible for working with engineering to produce the bomb for various stakeholders. Engineering is typically the first to be questioned related to a newly discovered or reported security vulnerability. Standard questions focus around whether the organization uses the impacted component, and if so, where is the potential exposure across the portfolio of products. Legal these days considers both IP and security issues as a combined risk, which is ultimately in their jurisdiction to manage via continuously evolving corporate policies and remediation guidelines. The security team handles security testing using a combination of SAS, DAST, and IaaS tools, but unless SCA is included, they will typically have a blind spot to vulnerable OSS components. If an organization sells products outside of the US, the export team requires knowledge about the bomb so that all cryptography information is available to properly comply with export control laws. Certification and safety teams are ultimately responsible for protecting against their product causing harm to customers. Security vulnerabilities in open source are potentially a contributing factor and must be considered. And finally, customers are demanding software bill of material disclosures more and more, and they are also beginning to ask for details of their vendors' compliance programs. In today's demo, we will show how Code Insights Global Inventory View can help answer key stakeholder questions. Everyone wants to know what the complete open source of materials is within an application. Engineering is concerned about the overall risk for an application and where should resources be allocated. They may also want to know what are all the versions of a given component in use within the team and can we consolidate. Legal needs to know about all their pending review tasks across the entire portfolio of applications or where within the company is their possible copyleft license exposure risk. Security may need to know where all the instances of a specific component are within the company, or what items may be associated with a specific CVE. These questions, as well as many more, can be answered quickly using Code Insights Global Inventory View. Now, to answer these questions, let's jump into Code Insight and go to the Global Inventory View. Given the ever-escalating security breaches and recent introduction of new licenses like the server-side public license, the Common Clause, and the Elastic License 2.0, there will come a time when your organization needs to understand if they are impacted by a newsworthy event, and if so, where across its portfolio of applications are they affected? The Global Inventory View allows users to see inventory data at the enterprise level. Here it is possible to easily view details about open source usage that spans one or more projects. Within the Global Inventory View, we can see the project name, the inventory name, as well as the associated priority of that inventory item, the open source component name and version, the selected license for a component, as well as any known vulnerabilities that are mapped to that item. Finally, you have the ability to see if there are any open tasks, security vulnerability alerts, as well as the current approval state of the inventory item. Utilizing the advanced search, you can focus on the items that are currently of interest to you to help answer the questions you may have about the open source usage within your organization. 
As you can see here, I have the ability to apply filters which will allow me to highlight items based on inventory characteristics, such as review status, vulnerability alerts, or tasks for inventory items, vulnerability information, such as a specific CVE, bands of CVE scores, or the age of the vulnerability, and license details, where I can look for a specific license or category of licenses. I can also see which inventory items may have a component selected, but not an exact version. The final option available is to specify whether you want the options to be applied individually or not. In other words, does the inventory have to match all of the criteria or just a single one to be considered for the search results? So now let's use the advanced searching capability to address some of the questions we mentioned earlier. First, let's look across the entire enterprise to determine what work remains based on the current open tasks within the system. These tasks may have been manually created or automatically created via the policy associated to a project and the results of its review. For items that are rejected by policy, the system can create a remediation task and assign it to a developer contact. If desired, Code Insight can even create a JIRA issue for you based on your project configuration and associate this JIRA issue with a remediation task. This allows for automated work to be added to the developer's backlog based on compliance issues in Code Insight. For those items that are not approved or rejected by policy, Code Insight can automatically create one or more review-based tasks to be assigned to the appropriate stakeholders, including legal and security. For this example, I'll filter my inventory results based on open tasks without specifying a type, such as remediation or review. I also only want to see the tasks that have been created in the last seven days, so I'll select that here within my task gauge. It is also possible to find tasks with a specific owner, as you can see here. Finally, I want to set the criteria to be AND versus OR in order to have only the items that match all of these criteria be returned. As you can see here, I have several open remediation tasks as well as review tasks for different inventory items spanning multiple projects. It is also possible to further sort the results by priority to ensure that you're working on the most egregious items first. Now let's focus in on the security vulnerabilities that are associated to the items across all projects. It is common practice these days for organizations to perform frequent builds and for each build to grab recent releases of a given component. With this quick and frequent churn in dependencies, it is critical to keep tabs on security vulnerabilities. Typically, vulnerability remediation consists of removing the component, upgrading the component to a more recent version based on the vulnerability advisory, patching the component with a fix, or implementing logic to protect against the security vulnerability from the component. When your VP of Engineering receives a call asking if your organization is impacted by a newly reported security vulnerability, having the ability to quickly query your system bill of materials to see if and where you may be exposed is critical. Within Code Insight, one can quickly and easily search across all products using a specific vulnerability ID to see if any items have that vulnerability associated to it. In this case, let me search for CVE 2020-8022. As you can see here, I have a few different projects that do in fact contain an open source package that can has this vulnerability. In this final example, I'm concerned about where within my organization I have a strong CopyLeft style license across all of my applications. Within the advanced search, I'll clear the results from my previous search and then select the items that have a license type of strong CopyLeft, which then shows me every inventory item across all of my projects with that type of license. Typically, organizations that distribute their applications to their customers would be concerned about such exposures. If remediation is required for legal reason, it typically consists of one of the following possible actions. Removing the component, seeing if the component is under a dual license, which has an acceptable alternate option, reaching out to the original developer for an alternate license, including commercial, if acceptable, change how the component is linked or called within the application, or seeing if an older or newer version of the component is under an acceptable license. Usually remediation for legal reasons is not as trivial as upgrading a component, and it is important to address these types of compliance issues early in the development cycle. Code Insight supports these queries to allow engineering managers a view into these types of issues. If I then wanted to further narrow down my results to say the items with this type of license that have also been approved or have not yet been reviewed since they provide the most possible risk, this is possible. To do this, I can enable the approved as well as the not reviewed within the inventory review status options change my criteria to be AND, which will provide the intersection of these two options along with the license priority for my results. Here are the approved items as well as those items that have yet to be reviewed that have a strong copy left license and should be immediately reviewed to determine the appropriate actions. As you have seen, Code Insight's global inventory view can help answer key questions about the open source usage within your organization. Thank you for watching. Check out additional videos demonstrating the various features of Code Insight Please visit us at revenera.com slash SCA for more information.